This is what I brought you, this you can keep This is what I brought you, may forget me I promise to depart, just promise one thing Kiss my eyes and lay me to sleep song right here, it's for everybody out there looking for truth, who says, you know, we all in the same boat, yeah, Christians, Muslims, everybody yeah. like that, <laughs> yo, you looking for truth, oh, I got some answers, man, so good to me, uh, let's get into it, let's go, night and day, I ain't scared to say it, we different, uh -huh. they play the prostitute, but they like to say they just intimate, idols in their heart, they can't seem to lose the grip on it See him walking in the direction that King Agrippa went Our world is different like Whitley and Wayne, man They say we look the same, but we ain't chasing the same thing It all boils down to they think everything's relative Jesus might as well be a South American president Very evident, they say that Jesus was heaven sent They lifestyle reflects, they worship themselves instead of him They don't acknowledge the Christ If they did, they wouldn't worship themselves by the way that they live All these rappers say they got guns that Spray off 16. I got a Luke 9 that can take off 16. That's the Bible, the one they quote. But they don't care about the author, they think he's a joke. Man, see, some folks say all truth is relative. It just depends on what you believe. You know, hey man, ain't no way to know for sure who God is or what's really true. But that means you believe your own statement, that there's no way to know what's really true. You're saying that that statement is true. You're killing yourself. If what's true for you is true for you, and what's true for me is true for me. What if my truth says yours is a lie? Is it still true? Come on, man. I promise, everybody is asking the same questions. Who am I? What is my purpose in my direction? Probably believe that you exist for no other reason than self-satisfaction, hedonism, and pleasing things. Life's about you getting yours and being happy. Even if it means a divorce and switching families, your job, your house, your car, your spouse, it's all for the glory of you. Else you out. You go to school, get your degrees, and get a job so you can make a whole lot of cheese. Cause life's hard. You never thought of living to please a real God And that's the reason he made you, see He gave you breath to breathe, the chest to breathe it So you can taste and see he's the best, believe it He made us for his glory, enough for your own, homie Our God is holy, you should repent and die There's this thing called secular humanism that says Man is the source of all meaning and all purpose You know what I'm saying, we're just the result of a big cosmic explosion We don't really have a purpose or meaning, so we just come up with our own purpose. We're the source of our meaning and our purpose. But how can a man who's just a product of chance, a finite being, be the source of purpose and meaning? He can't. We created with purpose, man. Get with the creator, y'all. And everybody got a problem with God. And when you mention the Christ, then they really get to turn in the knob. But some say they roll with Christ. Cause some rappers made him seem like he was cool with all the sin in their life. No. But then some say, how could God exist when all this evil stuff in the world keep persisting? Wrong question. Ask again. How come God ain't let you feel the wrath from sin? What you thought last night deserve a first class flight to hell where God doesn't dwell. You got that right. But he brought back life on a cross that night. Christ died. You ain't know that it caused that price. All of God's anger poured on his son. Been together through all eternity. Now he was shunned. Praise God for the life that was won for us. Ain't got a beef with God because the son was crushed. Hey, look, man, some people say that God ain't real because they don't see how a good God can exist with all this evil in the world. If God is real, then he should stop all this evil because he's all powerful, right? What is evil, though, man? It's anything that's against God. It's anything morally bad or wrong. It's murder, rape, stealing, lying, and cheating. But if we want God to stop evil, do we want him to stop it all or just a little bit of it? If he stops us from doing evil things, what about lying, you know? What about our evil thoughts? I mean, where do you stop? The murder level, the lying level, or the thinking level? If we want him to stop evil, we gotta be consistent. We can't just pick and 